a must know if you're studying kanji characters. If you study Japanese and are practicing kanji, there is one important thing that I want you to know. Always try to keep each kanji character in a box. When Japanese children study kanji, they often use these kanji practicing notebooks with a lot of squares. Every kanji are made to fit into a box. And if you're not aware of this, you'll miswrite certain characters. For example, if you want to write ski, which means light, if you write this without fitting this character into a box, it could look like joshiki. Then the left and right elements of the kanji look like they're separated. And then it reads joshi, which means girl, regardless of how complicated the kanji is. The rule of the box is always the same. So please keep this in mind for me. If you'd like to learn more about Japanese culture, Kyoto, and social problems in Japan, please check out my channel and subscribe.